Hi guys, this is the Java series part 15. Now let's discuss typecasting. What is typecasting? The process of converting the value of one data type into another data type is known as typecasting. Okay, what are the types of type conversion? Widening typecasting. The second one, narrowing typecasting. We will discuss one by one. First one, widening typecasting. The name itself we know the meaning. Widening typecasting, the lower data type is converted into the higher data type. Hence, there is no loss in data. That's why this type of conversion happens automatically. Okay, this is also known as implicit typecasting. Now, let's see the example here, widening means lower data type into higher data type. Okay, in this program, I have created the variable. Now, its data type is integer. We all know integer size is 32 bits. That means of 4 bytes. Okay, I have given 10 to num variable. And here, I try to convert the num into data. But data variable is double. Double memory size is 8 bytes. Num memory size is 4 bytes. Now, what happens here? This integer data type will be converted into double data type. Okay, this conversion is happened implicitly. That's why we can call it as what implicit conversion. So, this data type, that means integer data type will be converted into double data type. 4 bytes will be converted into 8 bytes. That's why the name widening. Okay, let me execute this one. So, the integer value 10 will be converted into double value 10. Okay, so its memory size is 4 bytes. Its memory size is 8 bytes. Okay, smaller data type into larger data type. That's why the name widening typecasting. And the next type is narrowing. Here also the name itself we know the meaning. What happens? We manually convert one data type into another data type. In this case, the higher data types are converted into lower data types. Hence, there is the loss of data. Okay. That's why this type of conversion does not happen automatically. Okay. So, this is also known as the explicit type casting. Let's see the example narrowing type casting. Here, I have created the num variable. Its data type is integer. So, num memory size is 4 bytes, 32 bits. I have given 10 to num variable. Okay. I want to store this num value to data. Actually, num is integer. I want to convert the integer into byte. Then only I can store that value into this byte data. So, what happens here? I need to use this parenthesis. Inside this parenthesis, I have to write the data type. In this example, I want to change the integer into byte. That's why I just write here the byte data type. Okay. After the conversion, the num will be stored inside the data. Okay. Num memory size is 4 bytes. Byte memory size is only 1 byte. Okay, so this 4 byte will be converted into 1 byte. That's why we can call it as what? The narrowing. The larger size into smaller size. Okay, but this is not happen automatically. Manually, the programmer only will do this job. That's why this is called what? The explicit conversion. Okay, so let me execute this one. Here, integer value. That is num holds 10, its data type is integer, its memory size is 4 bytes. Its data type is byte, its data type is integer. So, this 4 will be reduced to 1 byte. That's why the name narrowing. Okay, I hope you all understand about this. Now, we have completed the typecasting and the types of typecasting, narrowing 
and widening. Widening means from small to large. Narrowing means large to small. Okay. And in widening, there is no loss of data. But in narrowing, we face the loss of data. Okay. And widening is also known as the implicit conversion. Narrowing is the explicit conversion. If you have any doubts, drop the message on the comment section. Have a nice day. Thank you.